How's it going, everybody? My name is Developer Number Nine, and it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, I have not been playing RuneScape very much. Uh, mostly been pretty busy IRL stuff, work stuff. I play a little bit where I can, um, slowly making progress on collecting the secondaries. But I have something else RuneScape related here. Uh, I backed the RuneScape board game Kickstarter a year or two years ago, I think, at this point, uh, and it just came in the mail. I got the deluxe edition, uh, the highest end edition, because I wanted it, and there's no other reasons, and I'm very excited to cut into a very large, uh, quite heavy box, uh, seven kilograms, according to the box. I did not expect a board game to be this heavy, but I thought I would bring you along for the ride, because this is something that I've been very excited about getting for, for quite some time and I'm interested in getting my hands on it. So, opening up the box, first looks, we have all of the expansions right on top there. They look very nice, they're very shiny. Uh, oh yeah, the King Black Dragon expansion. And the back of the box. Got the, all the little pieces there. We've got the Calphite Queen expansion in the back with all the pieces that are in that. The Zuck expansion. Uh, I don't remember which one of these were included by default and which ones were. Uh, specific to Deluxe. The Culinary Romancer, I do believe that one was if you backed on Kickstarter you got this one. And the other ones were extra. And here is ooh, the Deluxe expansion. So this should be, you can see my monitors, that's okay. Um, all of the, uh, the fancy stuff like the wooden tiles and uh, play mats and stuff are in there. And down at the bottom of the box, we've got, oh, that's a heavy, the base game, Shadows of Elvarg, is the base game, there we go, looks very exciting, uh, what should we dig into first, I guess we'll go with the main game first, that makes the most sense, right, is to start opening the, the main box, I don't have anyone here with me today, so uh, I will not be playing this game for some time. I don't know when I'll have a chance to play it, but uh, I, I at least want to open it and familiarize myself with it. So when I can get uh, my play group together, I'll uh, kind of be, be set up on, on the rules and stuff. So opening it up for the first time, we got the plastic wrap off. First thing we see is nice art of Elvarg. Looks like this is uh, how to start. It says Tutorial Island. Is that... Should we just... Am I supposed to keep going past this point? I think so. It doesn't say like, don't look. It's not one of those kind of legacy games where you're not supposed to explore the box too much, I think. Huge instruction manual. Very big. Full color spread. That looks very nice. Very nice art in there. And we've got are these character sheets, tearaway character sheets. Uh, hopefully they, they post these online or something, so if you ever run out, you can print more. But they are double-sided, at least. And there, there's quite a bit. That, that's a lot. Should, shouldn't run out too fast, but if you really like this game, if it depends how much replay value it has and with the expansions. Um, not sure if I'll run out or not. We got these are, are nice, like... Uh, D&D style um, sheets. The front is tiles on one side and on the back there's uh, are these quests. Oh, these are the, all the uh, the quests. We've got Demon Slayer, Dragon Slayer, Flame Slayer, and Vampire Slayer. <clears throat> As these are the, uh, the quests you can do. So there's four there. Five if you include the Tutorial Island one on the front. Not sure if I would count that as a full quest. Uh, tokens. In here, we can open this guy up. Let's see what else we got inside of this package with the tokens. Got tokens, I'll have to open those up. 
got XP tokens, fishing. Here, I'll put that a little closer and try not to pop out all the tokens so you can see them all. Another token sheet. Ooh, and like a very cool looking, like, I guess, boss tracker. Very cool. And what else? Oh, is this the, the world of Gilinor? There we've got that. We've got all the, the cool main areas there. Birthorp, Falador, Edgeville, Varrock. All the important cities you would expect to see. And we're now into the main area of the box. Ooh, with all of the cards and minis now. Ooh, they gave us quite a few bags, plastic bags, to store all those tokens in. That's nice. I feel like half the games I own, I have to bring my own Ziplocs. Some D10s. Three purple, one red. I assume that will be explained in the rules. I did not choose to spoil myself. Uh, they did post a lot of the rules and stuff ahead of time online, PDFs, for you to read pictures of a lot of the art and stuff, uh, and minis ahead of the time. I chose to try to limit how much I saw other than what was on the Kickstarter page. So this is almost all new to me, which is very exciting. I'm gonna leave the minis for last, they look super cool, but there's one more thing other than that is a bunch of card decks. These look very uh, well made. I'll open up one pack of these. Let's see, hopefully they are... Are they sorted by, by a quest of some sort, or... It's hard to tell. There's these ones with a, a green sword on the back. This red claw on the back. There's two decks that say Vault. Uh, and there's a deck that says initiative and there's a deck with this yellow swords on the back so for now just in case these are like one per quest and they're supposed to stay separate I'm just gonna open one and I'm not gonna shuffle it you never know so we'll, we'll just uh, be careful and hopefully I can actually open this <laughs> there we go I got it I got it very nice they got the little uh, tear away strip in them I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. And the cards come out. Oh, those are nice. These are very nice cards. You can can you kind of see the the like fabric in them, how they've got that that cross weave. Uh, I feel like that's a hallmark of like high-end cards, like they're not just just cheap paper. Those are those are very nice cards. Nice little art on them, just show a couple random ones. Again, some of these have been spoiled. Um, but I did choose not to, to see any of that, so I got a crafting cape. It's my favorite cape. I got a lot of those in game. I think I have like five or six crafting capes. More if you include League's crafting capes. Uh, quite a few cards. So that is the only deck I'm going to open for now, just in case. I don't want to get mixed up between the different quests for, for starting. And now we have the minis. So it looks like we've got quite a few character minis. So we'll start with these two. Looks like a, kind of a low level ranger and low level wizard. One of them's got like a cat staff. There's those two guys. Hang on, we got a couple more. And it looks like a low level, probably a low level meleeer using a pickaxe as a weapon. And this is maybe a mid level major. Um, not quite sure what weapon that uh, one the, the Major's using there, but that's okay. Looks like this is more of a, a mid-level melee-er. Got some, some rune-looking armor there. Um, this guy's got a pea hat on and, and a sword. Or is that a cane? Looks like the cane, not sure what that is. Guy is exactly. This is... This guy's dual wielding. I don't know what kind of RS3 BS that is, but he's got, looks like a, a dragon hatchet and a harpoon, possibly dragon harpoon too. I don't know. They don't come painted. And then we've got the higher, high level guys. So high level majors got the ancient staff and a spell book. Unclear which one. If that's a tome of water or tome of fire or book of the dead. Uh, we got the high level melee-er. You've got a D skim, D full helm. Uh, dragon kite shield. Uh, my camera might not be good enough, but there is an emblem of a dragon on the kite shield. That's definitely a dragon kite shield. And I believe that's the infernal cape as well. It's textured to be the infernal cape for sure. Did the major have. Uh, oh, he had a 
magic cape of accomplishment on. And the ranger, is that a, a Debo, I believe? Um, Coif, looks like uh, Dehide armor. And he's got a range cape of accomplishment on. Interesting that they chose for the major and the ranger to use 99 capes and for the meleeer to use an infernal. Not sure. Interesting. And then I, if I bring the camera around, hopefully this doesn't make anyone too sick, but we can see all of the pieces in the boxes. They all have nice little spots in the box, which is very nice for organization. I hate when they just kind of don't really give anything a nice spot in the box. I'm going to risk taking the plastic out to see if there's anything underneath. There is not. That was a bit of a risk. I've definitely had games where you're not supposed to do that, and it's like secret legacy stuff down there for later, but I risked it, and it paid off. There was nothing down there. I also got a nice little separator here that goes over top of the minis and the cards to hold all that stuff in, which I really like. I find so many of my games, you know, they don't have this plastic sheet. You put your instructions here, but then this moves when it's on your shelf, and then all those tokens just kind of fall out of their spots once it's on your shelf. Cool. There is some substantial girth in this stuff in this box. So that looks awesome. I'm very excited to play that. That's the main game. We got more to go. Should I leave the deluxe expansion for last? Maybe we will. I'm going to leave the deluxe expansion for last. Next we have the Culinary Romancer expansion. I, If I recall, this one went to everyone who backed it on Kickstarter. This was a Kickstarter exclusive expansion. So everyone will get a copy of this if you bought it on Kickstarter, assuming that they go to retail afterwards. Very tiny little box, much smaller than the original one. Instruction book, seems nice, seems like the same uh, same paper as the other one, full art, full color. In here, got a cool looking, cool looking guy there, is that uh, King Rold? Not sure, hard to tell. Uh, fold up board, very tiny, very cute little fold up board. Oh, there's the, uh, the Cullen Romancer's zone in a 3x3 grid. And the back of this one just says the Cullen Romancer expansion. It doesn't have like uh, the quest info like the last one. Uh, also another time, it's got the plastic sheet in here to cover everything inside, which I like. Keeps everything uh, nice and intact. A little bit tricky to get off the first time. It's pretty well installed in there, but we'll get that off. And once inside, we are down to, we got two packs of cards this time. I can see, uh, I'm not gonna open these ones because we've already opened a pack of cards, but I can tell by the, uh, the weave on them that they are the same high quality cards as last time. Very nice, full color art on those. And we got two minis with this one. We have the Color Romancer himself. There he is with his, uh, hatchet and what looks like just kind of a generic guy is that uh, just some a wooden shield just the default tutorial island wooden shield and uh, here, focus on that please and no oh, camera's not gonna focus on that and some sort of uh, long sword or short sword pretty uh, low-level newbie guy He's got kind of the bald head. He might be supposed to be the generic level three bot guy. Maybe I'll paint him as such. Are they painted on the back of the box? Let's see. No, they're not. They are unpainted there. They leave it to your imagination. Uh, I, they did post a couple of the minis, maybe all of them. I don't know, I didn't look at all the spoilers, but at least some of the minis they posted like recommended paint jobs for them on their Kickstarter page as they were uh, you know, going through the development process over the last two years. Oops. Well, it's okay. It's just a box. And this is the Zuck expansion coming next. Uh, I did buy all the expansions. I don't think you had to buy Deluxe to get all the expansions. You could just buy either... I'm not sure if you could buy them individually or if you had to buy all three. You got a nice full color uh, instruction manual, got the wise old man, full color page in there. Here's the map for Zuck expansion. The back is just black, nothing there. And the front is uh, more a wreck. Very cool map there. We got uh, some 
main areas. Fight pits, very important area in RuneScape, of course. Everyone knows that. It's where all the most popular things happen. Oh, we got some tokens with this one. Culinormancer exp expansion did not include tokens. But it was a bit smaller of a box. And I think, uh, like I said, it was the free, free expansion. Included expansion, however you want to call it. Uh, so we got some more tokens, some runes. Those look like uh, Zar runes. They got that gray color to them. Uh, some RS and some yellow things on there. Not sure exactly what all these tokens are for you. It looks like the Zuck Shield down there. And is this another board? Oh, this is like a, a three by three on one side and the quest on the other side, just like we got in the main game. It's interesting that the Color Romancer one, they didn't choose to put the quest on the back side of the 3x3 grid. I'm not sure why Color Romancer didn't do that, but everything else seemed to. But there is the Zuck quest, seemingly, I assume. Again, have the separator here between the instructions and the cards. I love that. Two card books. This one, one says spells, and one says wise old man support. And front says collapsing tunnels and magma blast. Ooh, minis. We got the wise old man here looking very cool in his classic pea hat and specs. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus a bit better. Wise old man in his pea hat and specs. Looks like he's casting a fire spell there and his staff. And he's got uh, just a generic cape. Doesn't seem to be any uh, indication that that's any special cape. And the big man, Zuck himself, standing. We don't see that in OSRS. Only RS3 gets to see Zuck's legs, but here we go. Zuck with legs and sword. So, oops. <laughs> they're they're well built. No no uh, damage from the drops they've taken so far. Looks like it's two pieces. You can see there's a seam there. So Zuck is one piece, and then this base with the logo is another piece, and they've kind of glued those together. All right, there goes the Zuck expansion. What do we got next? What should we go for next? We've got KBD and KQ. Let's go for KQ next. Maybe I should have saved Zuck for last. It's kind of a cool finale. But we'll go for KQ next. Pulling the plastic off. KQ box. This is going to be a very long video that I'm now realizing. Oh well. They are nice uh, nice boxes. Like, I feel like they didn't uh, cheap out on the materials, which I appreciate, because this did cost, uh, including shipping, 200 pounds for the whole set, the deluxe set, uh, including deluxe. Uh, 200 pounds, which in my currency in Canada is nearly 400, so <laughs> it was quite a bit. But uh, hey, don't tell my wife. Another uh, full color art book with KQ. And we've got the map of the Caridian Desert here. There we go. We see Al Karid, the Shanty Pass, and the Duel Arena. Oh, I guess it's not the, the full Caridian Desert. That's interesting that the map only goes as far south as Shanty Pass uh, when KQ is somewhere down south in here. Oh well. I uh, see. Assume they'll deal with that somehow in the storyline or just hand wave it away because it's not going to be a one-to-one -one creation. We've got some tokens. Those look like the summoning logo from RS3 uh, and some other ones. More of those just RS logos. Is that the the dual arena challenge logo? Uh, there all the tokens that I've seen so far also are the same on the back and the front, no difference on there. We have three by three. This one's desert themed, and it does have the uh, presumably the quest on the back. I haven't read these too much detail yet, but I assume those are the quests. Same same box design. Got the little uh, separator here. I can pull out. There we go. In there, cards. This time one says Vault and one says Summoning, so Summoning confirmed for the KQ expansion as a skill or something. 
Uh, on the other side, we've got a summoning reference guide for you to explain the rules of summoning to OSRS players that don't understand it. We've got a mini here, I believe, is that Osman? I think, if I recall, I never did TOA, but I think that might be Osman. And the big bug, KQ, once again, a two-piece miniature. Nice detail on that. See all the, the spines on her legs, very cool. And there's some little baby calphite spawns down here at, at her base. Nice pinchers. Very cool calphite. She's kind of sharp, actually. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly pokey. All right. One expansion left, and then we get to dig into the deluxe edition, which uh, I'm excited for because that was like a substantial amount of the cost to get that deluxe. These are piling up. I don't know where I'm going to put these. My board game shelf, as it stands, is pretty much full. Uh, the shelf where I keep all my board games. So uh, hopefully I can find some space for it. KBD expansion. A Cat's Tale of Triple Trouble. Oh, I didn't even notice that they had sub subtitles. Oh well. KBD. Oh, there's there's Bob. Is in the the KBD expansion. Interesting. Of uh, thought he'd be in like a future DS2 expansion or something, but well, is this the wilderness? Yes. You've got a map of the wilderness here. Some key areas marked there. See the lava maze. Another a token sheet. So pretty much all of the expansions. You got a very, very similar um, layout, right? You got the the world map, the instruction booklet. You get a token sheet uh, with this one, and you get the three by three map with the quest on the back. This one's kind of rocky themes like the KBD layer and we've got the main quest story on the back side that's interesting I'm not sure uh, how it's supposed to work because it seems like you need both sides of that and we can look in oh this one the layout's a little bit different because KBD himself is so big but let's get that cover sheet off cards this time they both say vault Although one of them says specifically for the expansion. And on the other side, ooh, Dragonfire. That's going to hurt if you don't have Dragonfire protection on this one. We've got oh, Bob the Cat sitting on a stump as our first mini. Cutie guy there with uh, some, some axe lodged in it. Oh, and this is huge. Oh, he comes in actually three pieces. KBD himself here and his wings come separately. You have to install those. Uh, hopefully these come off again because uh, he will not fit back in the box if these wings don't come off. But I'm going to put them on for you and then hopefully they come off again <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, how do they go? There we go. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. That is such a sick miniature. Not very miniature at all, is he? Got his classic three heads, big wings. That is super cool. I am super excited about that. And let's see, wings. Yeah, they come off without too much grief. Although I didn't put them in all the way, just in case. But he's not going in this box with his wings on. So I guess don't glue them on if you ever plan to, if you plan on keeping it in the box. If for whatever reason you're gonna take them out of the box and like display them somewhere, then I guess you don't have to worry about it. You can glue his wings on or something, but there we go. Packs up. Packs up very easily. Like there's space for everything. It's it's got a little spot. You know, you don't have to think about trying to fit fiddle everything in. It all kind of just goes. It, it's really nice. Okay, last one. Deluxe expansion. I'm gonna take the plastic wrap off of this one and then we're gonna see what's inside of this so I don't think this one is content uh, this one as far as I know is just cool extra pieces for people with 
no good sense or frugality. So let's open this guy up. Ooh. Same cardboard on all the boxes. It is, uh, it's very nice. I mean, it's not like the thickest cardboard in the world. It's pretty average, slightly above average board game cardboard. Okay, so we have play mats. So these are the same maps that we had in the other one, but instead of being fold up, they are now little neoprene printed rubber on one side, printed on the other side. Those are quite nice. I, I feel like uh, the resolution on these is, is very nice. I should open up one of the other boxes and, and compare. So that's the Tazar one, so that's for the uh, Zuck expansion. So this includes all the expansions. A little bit of a defect here on this one. I'll, I'll cut that off to avoid it ripping. Try not to cut myself as I do this. And I didn't really cut it off very well either. But there you go, there's the Alcarid one for the KQ expansion. We've got the Wilderness one for the KBD expansion. And we've got oh the 3x3 three three grids as well. So these are double-sided. So that one, there's the Zuck side on one. And I think, if I remember, that's the KQ side on that one. And this one is the KBD side. And, oh no, that's KQ side for sure. I can't remember what that one is then. So maybe one from the base game. Got more. There's the Varrock Wizard Circle, and I can't remember what that one is. I didn't look. I didn't look at the base game ones quite as much. I looked at the backs more. Color Romancer one, and the something else. <laughs> it looks like so. These are all double sided. I, I wonder if these might have some issues sitting still on your table because they're printed on both sides. Both sides are a little bit slippery, whereas the if I go and grab, oops, try not to hit any keys on my keyboard. If I go and grab these and put these down, yeah, because those are rubber on one side. They don't slide around at all. Interesting. We've also got, this one's rolled up. So all the others came laid out flat. This one came rolled up. There is the Gillinor map on a play mat. Oops, if I can hold it together. Very cool. I think, uh... The resolution in this seems seems pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. And hey, if you ever get bored of playing RuneScape Kingdoms, I mean, you can just use this as like a Magic playmat or Yu-Gi-Oh playmat or whatever if you're into those games. I've got my fair share of MTG playmats upstairs, so th it's about the right size. Maybe a little bit small, but not crazy small. You could definitely use that if you wanted to take it out of this box. The, the square ones are probably a little bit small for doing magic and it's got its own little little slot right there for that one and the other one's laid flat on top we'll get the cover off and there are all the tokens very nicely organized each one with an individual silica gel packet uh, if I sit here and open every single one of these Ziploc bags on camera this is gonna double the length of the video so I'm not gonna open all of them but I will open some just to show them off we have some cool dice, slightly shinier dice, three black, one yellow. Oh, we've got, these are metal coins, I believe. They feel like uh, uh, metal gold pieces. Let's get a couple of those out. Here, I'm actually just going to throw down one of these play mats right here. And uh, All right, and that's what I get for putting the play mats onto the keyboard, even after I said I shouldn't do that. It looks like, so I'm going to dump a couple more tokens onto uh, this playmat here. Uh, so there's that one, and let's just get some fish here for good measure. So there's, there's lots more. All the tokens that are included in the main game, at least, possibly all the expansion tokens. Uh, although I don't see summoning one, so not all the expansion tokens then, just the main game tokens. But if I bring you down here, you can see the metal coins. They have a one on one side, they have a two on the other side. They're double sided. We've got some sort of plant or I guess herb lore tokens and some fish tokens. And there's lots more. These are very nice. And that that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest of this box is just more, more tokens. Uh, they're all wood other than the coins are metal. 
make a very nice nice metal sound focus there we go and that's it that's that's runescape kingdoms uh deluxe expansion i have to find a place for all of these boxes in my house now <laughs> I, uh and uh i'll play it at some point and maybe i'll uh write a review of how fun it is once i get my playgroup together maybe i won't maybe this is the last You'll ever hear me talk about this. Maybe I'll talk about it in a progress video if I ever make another one. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for uh, watching. And uh, subscribe if you ever want to see the end of that Herblore 99 grind on uh, my level 3 Iron Man. I'm still working on it. I don't have a lot of playtime, but I am still working on it. So subscribe, and uh, that'll probably be my next video. See you later.